I wrote, Jer it says Jerry Springer already, and then I wrote, has ruined America. Nice. <laughs> He actually was here with us at the State Fair last year, and he basically said the same thing. Yes, he did. So yeah. he's aware. He is, but does he still do it? <laughs> well, I think he's cashing big checks, and that makes yeah. it, you kind of let things slide a little bit. Well, one of the things that the movie is about, actually, I signed my name in the awesome. back. One of the things the movie's about, speaking of Jerry Springer, is um, about you these characters, you know, these characters are really struggling with the idea of like what success is, and mm -hmm. that they might not be successful in the way that they thought that they might be. And and, mm -hmm. and I feel like one of the things <clears throat> that uh, in America, that the, in the America Jerry Springer has has created, um, I, I feel like our our ideas of success are so constrained to um, that exposure equals success, mm -hmm. as opposed to making something good or helping people or affecting people in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And and so and I I don't know, the culture of that stuff I, I think is, is is not great. That's why, you know, one of the things we're doing is we're doing these free improv workshops with yeah. the Brave New Workshop and the huge theater. And that's mm -hmm. what I, I I mean I was there this morning. I, I always say that when I speak to improv groups is, you know, you guys have the ability in Minneapolis or if I'm in Phoenix or San Francisco, you guys have the ability here to, to make something that's the best mm -hmm. improvised, best written, best performed, most topical, timely, affecting improvised play in the world mm -hmm. for, for 20 people or 50 people or 200 people. Yeah. And that's much more powerful than performing, uh, you know, than, than being on a sort of a, a mediocre sitcom being half watched by 7 million people. Mm -hmm.